Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 73. I totally remember that, I'm just saying. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for inviting me over. My name is Krista and that is my secret yarnery. Waiting for ice yarn today. I'm like staring at the gate. The gate is right there and I'm like, hmm? So if you see me looking over there, I'm like really hoping <laughs> to hear that hoot, that horn, that honk. Boom, ice yarn. Okay, hold on. Now, this channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. There's tutorials, live chats every Friday, and yardy goodness throughout the week. So if any of that is of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Still not there. So finished objects. Don't have any, none. Haven't finished a thing, but I have started two whips. Oh, I love a good whip. Stash busting, making room. See, without the lights, you can totally see how much space is over there, right? A lot of space. So my first whip, work in progress. I think I still have yarn attached and probably no stitch marker. Nope, no stitch marker. <laughs> Let me loop it up. I had it all folded nicely. So let me show you. This is the Speedy Granny Ruth Baby Blanket Straight Edge, no tassels. How cute is that? Oh, and one color, not changing color. Okay, let me hold it nice and, you know, let me hold it for a while so you can see the stitch. Isn't that pretty? So it is literally only a double crochet. It just depends where you do the double crochet. And it is called Speedy. Do you see that in the light? Yeah. It is called Speedy because you skip every fourth stitch. So you're really doing 75% of the stitches instead of 100%. So it does go a lot quicker. So soft. I'm using a seven millimeter hook for this. And there is one ball of the blue, or 100 grams one and a half skeins of the peach and I'm on my first, no, I'm on my second skein of the tan. So what I was gonna do in my head, begin and finish with the blue and then do one and a half the amount in the peach and then three skeins, so like triple the amount of blue in the center and then reverse it the way back. So it'll be a big, like beige in the center for quite a bit and then peach and blue on each end. Because I got a little over vigorous with my chaining and that is how wide it is, which is pretty wide. Well, I like it for a baby blanket. I like a, a wide baby blanket, but I didn't have enough yarn in like for the six, um, the six skeins to make it, it wouldn't be it might be square, but I like a rectangular blanket, so I was like, let me add all the yarn I have in these colors. <laughs> so I have two blues, I have three uh, peach, and I have three of the tan. So I'm adding all that in so that it'll be big enough to be kind of like a lapgan. Then, working on this, loving it, zoom, 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 watching TV, having a great time, realize that, well, not realize, but think, hold on, let me fold it up for you that that's kind of going to be a boring thumbnail. It'll be like, you know, look at this. And it's like, oh, like it doesn't really say baby. I don't know. I was like, uh, that's a lot of work for a lousy, like a not great thumbnail. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't look like much. So I was like, oh, what to do? I am busting through my yarn. So I'm not like shopping for more. I'm not, there's zero yarn in my country. So. That could also explain my shopping abilities, my God-given shopping abilities. Anyway, then I was like, I have six of these bad boys. Who knows this yarn? Cakes Baby Fine. How are you? Cakes Baby Fine. So Cakes Baby Fine. Let me put on my glasses for you. Somehow. Cakes Baby Fine is 100% premium acrylic, 100 grams, 360 meters. It is a two weight yarn, 
I pretend it's a three. And they suggest a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a five. So check this out. Isn't that great? What? So that says thumbnail. I mean, that's cute. That's thumbnail mania right there, isn't it? I'm loving it. So I've done, I'm on my second cake, half done my second cake, more than half done my second cake. I changed, the first cake ended in the middle of this light pink here. So I dug into the center of another cake and start and like cut where the same color pink is in there. And that is the inside of the cake. So I have this left and then I'll be finished my second cake. So this cute beauty, the, it comes in three cakes in a three cakes in a pack. And I'll put a, just a link in that, it's already a link. There's a link to this yarn in the description box of all my videos because I love it so much. And it will be a perfect size baby blanket, probably the only perfect size baby blanket I've ever made. 30 inches by 40 inches when it's finished. So I have calculated, right? That's 30 inches. And then if you keep going, measuring by how far I got with one cake and triple it, it will literally be 40 inches tall. Ah, that's angels from the sky. So that is what I'm hooking on. I have filmed it. Now I just have to finish it so I can film the end of it and take some cute pictures. And then that will be my next tutorial. So cute. I also want to finish the one in worsted weight so you can see the difference. Oh, do you want to hear something cute about that? Okay, hold on. They are the same number of stitches. What? They're both 108 chains across, but one I'm using a five millimeter and a two weight yarn and the other is a worsted weight with a seven. Can you see the difference there? If I lean back. So that is 108 stitches in DK weight. Well, I, I call it DK, it's probably lighter than DK. And that's the, hundred, that's the extra size you get with a chunkier yarn, this is a four weight. So if you're starting out, go with a thicker yarn. It really helps you not hook as much or hook faster, I should say. So that is my whip that I have been, I'm still looking at that gate, he's not here. So what I've been actually working on, are you ready for it? Okay. Shut your eyes and poof. Did I poof? Did that work? Was that a good poof? No, we're still here? Okay, hold on. And poof. Yeah. What's this? What's this? I know, right? As my husband says, you took over another room. I'm like, kinda. So, <laughs> We're gonna be talking about this on Friday's live chat. If you have ideas or how you do it, how do you take pictures of your work? Like, are you on Instagram? Are you on Facebook? Or do you just keep track of your work on Ravelry? Like, how do you take your photos? It's difficult, right? And then you have to clean your area. I know one of you lovely people does it on a dishwasher because it's nice and white, but then you also have to kind of clean the kitchen and make sure there's not like ooze on the dishwasher. You know what I mean? So, I was like, wouldn't it be great if I had like a single size bed that no one was using? I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. Then I was like, wouldn't it be great if I had a crib? Yeah, it would be if I did, right? So this is what I was dealing with. <laughs> it is my guest bedroom, which is kind of a dumping zone in my house. If you clean another room, you're like, oh, just go put it there and then I'll go through it when I have time. So it was the last room in the house to get done. I was like, it has the bed I always wanted. It has technically the space for filming that I should have. And it has a crib for filming baby blankets or like, you know, doing the pictures of the, of the finished objects. So I heave hold, my daughter helped me. We got it totally read it. We're still doing it. It's not totally done, but check it out. Isn't that like just cutie wooty but duty? So this chair was in the yarnery. I've gone around my whole house and tried to basically take everything that is white, pink, or teal and pop it in here. Right, 
What do you think about that? Oh, you can't see my cute picture back there. Well, good thing my hair is there. I'll show you that picture too. Boom, how cute is that? Mm -hmm. I love it. Then I'll put my pony in the way. I tried to put a light over there to kind of brighten it up so you can see. Anyway, this is what I've been doing, making a spot to film my, can I get my chair out of the way? Hold on. Maybe I can move my chair. There you go. Look at that bed. I have a bed to put crochet blankets to take pictures on, not a lazy boy. I feel like I'm all grown up. Anyway, this was my work. So now if you're on Instagram, at Secret Yarnery, you will see a whole bunch of cool little spots in this little room where we're like, it's kind of like having a little Hollywood set. You're like, ooh, wouldn't that look cute in the fake bedroom? Hmm? So cute. So no one's allowed to breathe it. Well, they can breathe, but they can't touch with their hands. <laughs> And by that I'm talking like my mirror, my son comes in, he was like, oh, isn't that nice? I was like, what, really, really? And I've taught everybody how to use a newspaper and scrub your little fingerprints off. We'll see how long it lasts. I mean, so real slow. It still needs work, I'm still gathering things for it, but this is my favorite place to sit. Oh, let me show you how I sit. This is like where I have coffee now. This is officially my coffee spot. Okay, hold on. is officially my favorite place to have coffee. I may or may not have got roses to match. <laughs> In my defense, I have this lovely lady, she just started a floral business and she will literally deliver me, deliver me 30 roses for $6. So I was like, ah, yeah, totally, $6, thank you, to my door. I'm right into it. So if I ever need any flowers or ever one like, mm, -hmm, I just call her up. Well, actually, I have WhatsApp her. And she sends me. She's like, all oh, right, he'll be there in an hour. What? What? So I did get a little compulsive with the super cute light pink roses. I admit that. So that's what I've been up to. And I just wanted to share. And now I'm going to go wait for ice yarns. Do you want to wait for ice yarns? Oh, how do we wait for ice yarns? Oh, my gosh. I can barely breathe thinking about it. Breathe. <laughs> I can barely breathe thinking about it. I'm so excited. Now I know it is, what day is it? Thursday, so can't open it Friday, can't open it Saturday. Could open it Sunday. Monday for sure, Sunday, Monday. I'll see how Sunday goes. I try to keep the weekends open for the kids, but in all honesty, my whole life is open for the kids, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go look at the gate. This is actually what it's like to live my life. Okay, let's go. Would you like a poof? Okay, so shut your eyes and poof. We're gonna sit and wait and maybe watch some birds. Waiting's not working. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any of the fun. If you wanna see what I'm up to in between videos, pop over to Instagram, at Secret Yarnery. That is where I post my little pics, what I'm doing, what I'm working on, what I'm looking at. So that is at Secret Yarnery over on Instagram. So I hope you have a super great day. We'll see you in the next video and stay hooked. What do you do when you're waiting? Do you have a, do you have a tip for waiting? My, my, my grandmother used to roll her ankles. She's like, roll your ankles, and then she's like, roll the other way. Then she'd do the mixer, she'd do the opposite mixer, she'd go that way, she'd go this way. I was like, that's valid. That's one way not to waste your time, right? Or are we to stare at the gate? Okay, I'm gonna go stare at the gate.